Hi, Sophie here. So in this episode of Friday Favorites, I am showing you natural, safe and effective products for melasma, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, age spots and skin discoloration. All right, so this is a big subject. There are so many of us, I think almost all of us actually, unless you are under the age of 30, who have some kind of skin discoloration. You know, the UVA, UVB rays beat down on us and nobody is exempt. Even if you don't live in a hot country, even if you wear sunscreen religiously. But some people suffer more than most, particularly from melasma, and the difference between melasma and maybe dark spots, sunspots, age spots is it is larger patches of your skin that have a sort of brownish, grayish sort of patchiness, often in the cheeks, over the bridge of the nose. That can be a really tough one. And then, you know, many of us like me got way too much sun um, in their youth. Um, in my 20s and 30s, I was the full sunbather out with... Uh, literally almost like foil behind my head and baby oil on my face. And so, you know, many of us, we just want lighter, brighter, clearer skin with a better texture and with sort of more evenness going on. We want to get rid of that uneven skin tone. So today, I am going to show you what I believe, I've got them sitting out in front of me, to be some of the best products on the market that are natural, green, extremely effective with evidence-based science backing up their claims as well as all the clinicals. You're really going to learn a lot in this video. So here's how it's going to go. I'm going to start off with the most gentle products. So those of you who have more sensitive skin, maybe rosacea, maybe you're a little scared of using some of the harsher ingredients, that's where I'm starting. And then I'm going to move up slowly. And then the final product is one that really packs a punch. You're really going to want to see this brand. And then finally, I'm going to give you a couple of very important tips. Um, if you are really trying to minimize this skin uh, pigmentation. Because the thing is, you can sort of minimize it, it can fade, you can do treatments, you can do lasers, whatever, but then you've got to keep it going. You've really got to know how to prevent it for just from reoccurring the next week. Um, and actually, just a little note on that, that really is the problem with a lot of lasers. You know, I'm not a dermatologist, dermatologist, so I'm not going to comment on lasers, but there are some, you know, really great lasers for uh, skin pigmentation and dark spots and whatnot. And you can go and ask your dermatologist about that. But the one, and I have seen, mm, I'm going to say kind of mediocre results with, with that in terms of the sort of mid-priced ones, the ones that you have to go back and have sort of multiple different treatments. But the really, really important thing and the thing that worries me is that you can have a treatment like that and then you go away on vacation or your um, skin just happens to get sun and then you're back to square one. I know so many people that have blown hundreds and hundreds of dollars on having these treatments and they're like, oh, I went away for one visit to the Grand Canyon and came back and my skin just looked exactly the same as before. And that is why for myself personally, I love to you have products in my arsenal, I like to Im sort of empower myself, know that they're sitting in my bathroom cabinet or in my um, closet, that I can actually pull out these ingredients and do these treatments myself, you know, on a weekly or daily basis. So let's get started. So product number one. Now product number one is called Emblica Light by Cyberderm. Now, Emblica, this is actually a very, very unique product. And I will promise you, I will put the links to every single product I am mentioning underneath this video, because some of them are a little bit more obscure. In fact, probably most of these you may not have heard of before, which is why I'm so excited to share every single one of these uh, with you. 
So Embolica by this really great brand called um, Cyberderm, and it's you know physicians have created this uh, this particular brand of products. So I'm I'm very um, interested in all the products that they have, and this contains Embolica, also known as Indian gooseberry and turmeric for very natural skin lightening. So if you have very sensitive skin and if you think I just don't want to be using any acids or peels or you're sort of really scared of all that, this might be a beautiful product for you to check out and start with. Um, it, despite the fact, and this is important, that it contains the um, emblica and the turmeric, it is in no way, shape or form orange. And I think that's important for you to know if you're looking at a product that has an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant ingredient such as turmeric. Because if you put regular turmeric on your skin, and that's why you have to be really careful with a lot of the DIY turmeric masks, you have to wash it off immediately so that it doesn't stain your skin. All right, so this is uh, just a very um, light, I'm almost gonna go, it's like a peach color and it just immediately melts into your skin and you won't get any sort of discoloration from those unique, uh, they're actually Ayurvedic ingredients. It's not marketed that way, but they actually are Ayurvedic um, ingredients, which I really like. So that's product number one. All right, product number two for again, very gentle, natural skin lightening is by Natra Sutique. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and it is called the uh, B Light. Now, this is really uh, unusual. So this again comes under the umbrella of the same brand that I've just shown you, the Cyberderm. So Naturaceutique and Cyberderm are under the same brand, umbrella brand. Uh, they're actually in Canada, but they ship to the US very quickly to you. And I was super duper impressed by a different product that I tried in their line, their retinol. I cover retinol products in a different video. So make sure you are fully subscribed to my channel and you click that little gray notification bell uh, just next to, next to the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss any of the new uh, Friday Favorites videos when they come up. But um, anyway, so it was their retinol product that first really caught my attention. I found it at a Indie a Beauty Expo and I, try, I get given a lot of products, so I sort of tried that product and thought, I'll just see what it's like, and I was mega impressed with the results. And this, uh, it, and it was the Natra Sutique line and, and the Cyberderm, and this comes from the same sort of brand. Um, so this one is interesting. This contains a fermented yeast from grapes which is, has been scientifically discovered to be really effective in naturally sort of lightening the skin and preventing the production of, of the actual pigments in your skin, um, the melanin that actually can create this, um, this discoloration. So this is a really fantastic product. You would use it every single day. And actually the first one I showed you as well, both these you can use every single day. So you're gonna actually make them part of your AM, PM skincare routine. And I would use them twice a day if you want to. They're gentle enough to. And if you really wanna see a difference but you're invested in doing it naturally, you know, after cleansing in the morning, use one. After cleansing in the evening, use the other. And then you can use a moisturizer of choice on top of that. So there you have it, your first two really natural options. Now, the next one we're going to, I should say they're all natural, what I'm showing you, but gentle options, I should say. Now, the next one that I wanna show you 
is one that I've shown you before in some of my previous YouTube videos for those of you who've been following me for a while, but if you haven't and you're new to me, then this is something you have to know about. And this is by a brand that I really, really love and have loved them for a long time called Sunshine Botanicals. And uh, the uh, actual founder and the formulator is a uh, aesthetic, um, a, a, a holistic aesthetician, excuse me, from Atlanta, Georgia. She's amazing, Emily Fritchie. She really knows her stuff. She's worked for years up close and personal with client skin. And one of the things that she loves to, um, to help clients with is clients who have very inflamed skin, rosacea, maybe inflamed skin from using poor products for years and years. Maybe they've just had surgery, whatever it is. So she has a very, very gentle, holistic approach. And this it, kit is her, um, is her answer to this hyperpigmentation and to melasma. And it's a kit, so it contains, it's a peel actually, it's a peel kit, so it contains a pre-peel, the peel itself and its pumpkin, and then the post-peel, and it comes with a brush to apply the peel. So the peel itself comes in a jar, and it, it, it smells and looks like pumpkin pie filling. It smells like you want to eat it, but don't, because it's much stronger than it actually appears. And you would apply this to your skin probably once a week and it will tingle, you know, but don't be perceived, but don't be deceived by the pumpkin thinking, oh, this is all completely natural. I can throw it on and go and watch TV. Do not do that. And Emily recommends that you use it for about six weeks and then you're going to start to see a, a difference in your skin. And of course, pumpkin contains these natural fruit acids, which, you know, melt away those dead dry skin cells and start digging in deep to sort of soften this discoloration. So there is a really great choice for you. All right, next product, we are going into a mask. Now this mask is a really good budget friendly mask and I try to give you products for all different budgets as much as I can in my Friday favorite videos. And this is by Go Pure, a brand that I really love because they keep the price very, very manageable. And this is their Enzyme Mask Restore and Smooth. Now, this is unique because it contains shea butter and so it, and rosehip seed oil which i love so anti-aging it also contains reishi mushroom gotu cola so they've packed in all these beautiful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant products as well as your your peeling products you know your your glycolic um you know your acids so they recommend that you use it once to twice a week if you have oily skin and you can use it probably every other day if you have dry skin. What I like to do when I get a product, because I forget otherwise, is I get a giant red marker and I put one slash two, or I put an E if it's every day, or I put one if it's recommended to use once a week. So that way I'll just always remember. And also I don't have to, you know, get out my glasses or squint at the small print. Um, so this comes in a jar and what you're going to do is you are going to apply and you would leave on for uh, the amount of time, the directions that they uh, for the amount of time that they say on the container and read that really carefully because, you know, it also will depend on how sensitive your skin is, you know, two or three minutes and then you rinse it off. But it is a gentle mask or a gentle peel. So don't get too sort of freaked out about this one. That's what I like about it. You know, it really can work if you've got oily, acneic, you know, sensitive skin. This is one that you could definitely use. And it's one, you know, that you just keep on using week after week to just start to, you know, fade that discoloration. All right, next up, we're going now into the slightly more um, active, I should say, products. Now, these are products that, you know, you might have used glycolic products for a while. You might have had glycolic peels or fruit acid 
peels at the dermatologist or you know you might have had a facial at a spa and they you know do that brightening facial and very often they're using the fruit acids and whatnot um, but you want to be able to do it at home and you want to be able to do it at home in a way that you can do it affordably and you can do it regularly so this is a new brand to me which i really like again affordable it's called insta natural so all the products that i'm showing you do not contain parabens or um, you know the chemical the uh, chemicals that could be harmful to our health or the and or they don't contain cheap fillers those skincare products that I don't particularly like that are super duper overpriced and have ingredients and I'm just like why is that in there and why am I being asked to pay so much for that not interested in that anything that you'll see on my Friday favorites videos I have scrutinized the ingredient deck I have tried out road tested the product myself and it really works for me so this is a glycolic peel it's professional grade so it's a little bit stronger and so you want to go a little bit more careful with it i have put on the back you can use it once or twice a week so you might want to start with once a week i recommend once we get um, into using the slightly more active products with a higher percentage of glycolic acid which is one of the alpha hydroxy acids which are which is a product a glycolic acid and all of the different acids are indicated and evidence-based evidence-based scientific studies to show that this is what is very effective in treating melasma, dark um, sunspots, you know, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, um, and all those, those things that we were talking about at the beginning. So that's really what you wanna look to using. Now, with this particular peel, what I'm gonna recommend, or they recommend actually, is that first you do a little patch test so sorry there's a helicopter coming over test a little teeny patch on the side of your face and you know just leave it on just a little tiny dot or you could even do it on your wrist but i like to do it on my face actually because if i do it on my inner wrist my the skin on my face reacts quite differently for me to the skin on my inner wrist which is very often where they get you to do a patch test so i do a little patch here just a little dot and I'll leave that on for 24 hours and I'll just see, you know, if, if I'm, I just want to check that I'm not going to get some kind of extreme reaction. Um, this you leave on for 30 seconds to start off with because it is quite strong. And then you can build up to a minute. And as soon as you're done with your 30 seconds or your minute, rinse it off with cold water to stop the action. Okay, very, very important. Rinse it off pat dry and then you'll carry on with your skincare regime whether you're doing it in the morning or the evening i like to do these sort of treatments actually in the evening so after that i will put on if i'm using a serum a serum and then a moisturizer and then i'm good to go one thing i will say here is that when you are using um professional grade meaning um, glycolic acid that uh, that has a, a good high percentage in the formulation um, you don't probably want to use retinol in the same session when you're starting out because don't forget your skin builds up it gets sort of ready uh, to be able to take something that's stronger over time and so when you're starting out you know if you use a retinol product use glycolic peel you know um well actually this is one or two, one to two nights a week so say you did this on a monday then tuesday probably not use your uh, retinol and the night that you're using this and then the other nights of the week you can all right, let's get on to the final product, which I think you are going to really, really love. Now, this is a brand. Uh, it is called Alpha H, and it's been on my radar for quite a long time. And I was actually saving it, saving some of the latest products to show you in this particular video, because so many of you have asked me about how you can deal with melasma and hyperpigmentation and whatnot and said, please, will you do a video on it? And so I've just been 
I've had my my ear to the ground. I've been asking a lot of different dermatologists, a lot of experts, you know, going to all my trusted beauty sources and then slowly collating these products. And then it takes me a while because I have to try them all out myself. So it's taken a while, but anyway, here we are. So this Alpha H product, I've written an E on the back of this one, which means that you can use it every single day. Now the Alpha H brand is very unique. So Alpha, because it's they use alpha hydroxy acids they're big on alpha hydroxy acids but they have a very unique way of formulating with a very low ph so that it really does absorb into the deeper layers of your skin it has a very very good delivery system and a unique delivery system this particular brand now the other thing is it has a very high percentage of quality glycolic acid 14 percent which is really really good so uh, this particular product is one of their award-winning products that's called liquid gold now liquid gold and i want to make sure i get this right here um this one actually uh contains five percent glycolic acid which is why you can use it um, every single day the one that i'm going to show you in a second has the 14 percent it also has licorice extract and silk proteins and it is it's won so many awards, so many beauty editors have gone completely bananas over this product. And I personally love it because as, as you know, as I said, you can use this or as they say, you can use this every single day. So it comes in a little um, bottle like this. And what you're going to do is you open it up and then it's a liquid. It's not a cream. It's not a serum. It's a liquid. So you'll saturate a cotton pad and then you will apply it, swipe it, slash apply it to all over your face, your neck, and your chest, and it will tingle a tiny bit. And then when your skin is dry to the touch, you then apply a moisturizer, and then you're done. And this you can use every single night. Now, you could actually use a retinol, if you're using retinol, uh, product with this. It really depends on you and your skin sensitivity. What I would recommend if you're interested in trying this is that try this first without using a retinol product. So just try it, put your moisturizer on and then maybe do that for a week. And then when your skin starts getting used to it, maybe the next week, use it and then use your retinol on top of it. So do this first, then your retinol product then your moisturizer and then you've sort of covered yourself on every single level and that way you're going to start really really seeing results in your skin in that hyperpigmentation the melasma the dark spots the whole nine yards now i want to show you another product which is pretty extraordinary from there from alpha h and has also won a lot of awards and it's called the beauty sleep power peel and again, beauty editors, makeup artists go crazy over this because it's an overnight treatment. Now they recommend, and I've written it on the back here, you could use this twice a week. I say that if you're starting out, I would try one night a week and then build up to two nights a week. But this is a very, very unusual and unique product and I love it. So I want to get this right. Yes, it contains 14% glycolic acid, and it also contains retinol. So it has 5%, 0.5%, uh, excuse me, retinol. So that's what makes, and along with a lot of other incredible active ingredients, and that's what makes it a super duper um, treatment. I was going to say power treatment. It's a power treatment. They call it a peel, but it's not a peel like the next day your skin is going to peel off. You just wake up in the morning and your skin looks so incredibly bright and refreshed. And then that morning you're going to put on your regular AM routine regimen products as you would. And then just to finish off, I also wanted to say that in their line, they, if you were thinking, oh, I love this line and I just want to get everything that I need, they also have a really beautiful moisturizer and they have 
an exquisite liquid gold firming eye cream. So you might want to check those out too. Now, don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to give you some very, very important tips. So tip number one is, are these safe for everybody, all these products? Well, the first one, two, three products I showed you, okay, the first three that I showed you, which don't contain, they're, they're a little bit more natural. I'll hold them up right now. These three, right, are safe for almost everybody. And even if you've got really super duper sensitive skin, the first two products that I recommended, absolutely. And even the pumpkin power peel, you can just leave it on, you know, for a very short amount of time and it's safe and effective. Now, the other products that I've shown you that have alpha hydroxy acids in them, glycolic acid, you don't want to use those products if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. So I would avoid them completely just to be really safe. Now the other um, tip that I want to give you, and this is extremely important, is that once you start using any of these products, you have to sunscreen really, really well, because otherwise you are completely wasting your money. There is no, I was, it's not, there's no point doing it because there's always a, a, a great point because what they're gonna do is they're gonna slough off dead skin cells, all of these products and increase the cell turnover on your skin. So it's always a good idea to use them. But because in this video we're talking and I really, really wanna help you with your hyperpigmentation, with those dark apes, sunspots and, and the melasma and whatnot. So please sunscreen with a broad spectrum mineral sunscreen. I have another video, Friday Favorites, with my recommendations for that. And, you know, all over your face, your neck, your chest, your hands and your forearms, if that's what's showing. And then, you know, if you're going to be in and around the sun, it's summertime, maybe take a little powder stick with you. Uh, Color Science is the one that I like. I'll pop a link for that um, underneath this video that you can pop in your purse and just top up with a, you know, 50 SPF um, when you're going about your day. Um, so please, please do that. And then the final thing I wanted to say is that I've spoken to this a little bit with um, Alpha, um, Alpha H, those last products, but, you know, if you really, um, uh, um, I know you're serious about wanting to reduce pigmentation and melasma, but um, you have to really uh, create a comprehensive um, skincare AM, PM routine to make sure that you're covering all your bases because it's these products, but you also do need your retinol products and you do need your vitamin C. So separate videos on retinol products and separate videos on uh, vitamin C products because otherwise this one's gonna go on for 30 minutes and no one's gonna watch till the end. Um, and I always make sure that I wanna get those tips in. So that's it from me. Please ask me any questions that you have. I know one of the questions might be about hydroquinone, which was typically um, a ingredient that was always recommended back in the day for, um, for hyperpigmentation and melasma. Um, but um, I recommend not using that product because there are too many um, health um, issues with it. Um, there, there are many studies that have been done that uh, just is, again, I don't want to go into this too much here, but in as much to say, I don't regard that ingredient to be safe for human health. So I would recommend you avoid that and stick with one of these more kind of natural, clean, meaning they're gorgeously green products, meaning that they won't harm, you know, your health or the health of the environment, um, which is what I'm all about. And also all of these products, as everything that I recommend is, are completely cruelty free. So that's it from me. Thank you for spending your precious, precious time with me. And, um, and do watch some of my other videos. If this video isn't covering what you're looking for in terms of product recommendations, um, some of my other Friday favorite videos might. And I don't just cover skincare, I cover all kinds of other products related to, you know, the wellness space too. Um, so you might find something that is right up your alley. I'll see you next time. Bye.